Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today's celebrity hairstylist, Charles Baker Strain, shares some of his Hollywood secrets. You're the man behind all of these celebrity hairstyles. Can you tell us more about yourself? I've been working with a bunch of different celebrities for the last six years, everybody from Leighton Meester, uh, from Gossip Girl, as well as Blake Lively, Taylor Momsen, and the other girl who I work with a lot is Jessica Zor. Off that show, I've worked with Mariah Carey, traveled the world with her for six months, Amy Poehler, Molly Sims, lots and lots and lots of people. Do you have any words of advice to all the ladies out there? Hairstyling should always be about an inspiration, but not perspiration. Whenever you look at a look that you're inspired by or that you really want to kind of like emulate, understand that your hair is going to do what your hair wants to do, but use that look as inspiration to maybe kind of like see what can happen somewhere in between because that's where you're going to find yourself feeling most beautiful. And when you're easy about it, you can find great things that are uh, unique to you. Now, can you tell us what you're going to be doing in my hair? I'm going to show you a couple little tips on, you know, maybe doing a workday look, uh, which is a great way to kind of like pull your hair back and like draw more attention to the eyes and then maybe taking that to something that's maybe a little bit more over the top and give you a good little Hollywood secret to make that great for like a wedding or something like that. So now I'm going to start by blowing out her hair just around the front. I always like to use a boar bristle round brush. The reason why I like to use a bristle brush is because this will help to polish the hair. I don't mean to tell all of your secrets, but her hair is a little bit drier towards the end because you like to straighten it, right? So the product is going to help to make sure that that hair stays really soft, but the bristles are going to make sure that we polish those ends so that way they don't look dry or frizzy. One of the great things that I love to give as a tip is that you don't necessarily have to start from a wet base to blow out your hair. We actually started with your hair pretty much dry actually and we used the Talsamy Softly Spray Gel from Herbal Essences which is a great wet or dry product and then a little bit of the leave-in split end protector which, which is the heat protectant to make sure that the hair stays soft and malleable and then we blew it out at a dry state which will save you so much time in the morning. Now that we've blown out your hair what I'm going to do is I'm going to work your hair back into just kind of a low ponytail which is a great place to start a bun. I like little gentle imperfections. It's those imperfections that still leave you accessible, touchable, looser, feels younger, it feels fresher, and it just generally celebrates the spirit of a woman. So I'm just going to work this hair back ever so gently, leaving a few pieces out. I always leave more out than what you want. I'm just going to secure this back in a low pony. All I'm going to do to the pony is just kind of take this back, wrap it around itself to make sure that it kind of like comes back. And your hair is, you know, shorter, and it's definitely layered, but you know, we'll just kind of like secure this down in and back, ever so gently wrapped around. A little bit of spray, just to hold those pieces up in there. And then what you can do is play with the pieces by your face. Now when we saw it like on red carpets and stuff with uh, Jennifer Lopez as well as Sarah Jessica Parker, um, Rachel McAdams as well, you know, these little pieces of softness kind of like leave a sense of delicateness and femininity. Whenever you have volume left in the hair or you want to keep the volume in the hair, use a little makeup brush like this little kabuki brush and I actually spray the brush like this and I just polish the little ends. So again, you don't wind up like headmistress at the school. Now, if we wanted to maybe take this and make it a little bit more romantic or a little bit more over the top for our wedding, I've got another little secret tip for you. So I'm actually gonna take this a little bit back down here because we're gonna do something that's a little bit more stylish. Instead of doing it straight in the back, I'm gonna pull the ponytail off to the side instead. One of our Hollywood secrets is what's called a donut. What we do is we pull the donut over the top of the hair, and all you do is just simply wrap the hair around the donut and spread it out, and you just cover up, and as you'll see when we're all done here, it kind of creates more hair where it wasn't before. Just secure that down with a pin. Looks like you have a lot of hair now, right? Now I'm just gonna dress it ever so slightly more by adding a little bit of movement to the top front area and sealing some of these ends down. Oh wait, I kind of like that a little bit more. I actually like you with a little bit less of a fringe because it helps to draw more attention to that eye. But as you can see, these both are very simple looks and it totally goes from one event to another. It's just on how you want to dress it and I give you a few little Hollywood tips and tricks and everything can be achieved with great styling products like Herbal Essences. Thank you so much for having me.